Okay, just uh, counting down to the uh, pre-open rates, which should start to appear on your screen shortly. As Jake is still indicating, a very very manageable 130 odd point cut. So 17 585. I mean, it could be an opening uh, like uh, any other day. Uh, with it doesn't. I mean, this is not a this is not reflective of uh, what what happened overnight. Uh, not in the least. I mean, after of course all the outperformance, uh, this is just okay. Ashish Chazurmuta is with us, Director, Head Research at JM Financial Services. Ashish, great to have you with us here as always. Thanks very much. Uh, your trades in terms of uh, the FNO side of things and how we set up. Hi, good morning, Prashant. Good morning, Anuj. So I think, see, broadly, you know, as you rightly mentioned, you know, that data is also clearly indicating around 17,400 and 17,500. We have seen a lot of uh, put writing positions being built up. So clearly, 17,400 to 500 is a trajectory where we are going to witness some strong support zone. And also, if you look at Bank Nifty, which is continuously inching and, you know, trying to hit its October 2021 highs, uh, is a clear reflection. Bank Nifty is going to see a significant uh, outperformance. And since banking and financials contribute close to 30-35% of the index weight, it looks like, you know, around 17,500, we might see some reasonable support coming to the uh, to the market. Uh, so I, I think broadly till the time we don't see a breach and close below 17,500 on a sustainable basis, any uh, negative or a, or, a, or a clear short positions can be built into the system. So I think the strategy should be buy on dips till the time we don't see a breach below 17,500. And keeping that in mind, we have uh, buy ideas in humans is looking very promising. We have earlier also indicated stock is a seven-year high, uh, consolidation high, which has given a breakout. And in the last five weeks also, there was a good consolidation. Uh, stock has given a fresh move in yesterday's move, you know, trading session, about 1250 trajectory. So keeping that in mind, one can initiate a long in Q means. Keep 1210 as a trading stop loss. In the immediate short term, we expect a stock to see 1350 kind of trajectory. But looking into the broad positional picture, it looks like stock is poised for a 1450-1500 kind of move in the next uh, two, three months time frame. Uh, Excess Bank, as I mentioned, banking is looking very promising. So Excess Bank is one stock which has been consolidating for six months. And there is a fresh OI buildup which is being witnessed in the last uh, uh, three weeks of, you know, uh, time frame. So clearly momentum is uh, positive in Excess Bank. One can initiate along, keep 785 as a trading stop loss. On upside, 850-860 is my uh, short term target in Excess Bank. Uh, Bajaj Finance is showing very strong traction within the financials. Uh, so keeping 75.40 as in stop loss, I think one can initiate along here also. 8,000 would be my immediate short term target. Only one sell call which I have is Godrej Properties. Stock is looking very weak on the four week data. It has given a breakdown with huge short, uh, short buildup. So with 13.05 as in trading stop loss, one can initiate a short in Godrej Properties. On downside, 12.20 would be my short term target in the stock. Okay, uh, thanks Ashish for those calls. Uh